One of the things we love about gardens and paintings is the colour harmony. Colour harmony is so important when we decorate our homes. When we do our paintings, we need to keep these colour harmonies in mind. Now, nature tends to come in a colour harmony. It's when we put together a collection of flowers and throw them in a vase that we often don't have a good colour harmony. We can get carried away with too many colours. So far, the colours have been tasteful. The arrangements like the green and the reds here they complement the fence and the the ground coverings everything's in harmony so far <laughs> when I go out and pick flowers one can get carried away do you agree that if I chose a closely related color harmony it might not be more pleasing than this hodgepodge these are the colors that I've chosen a third of the color wheel it did not need to have been those colours if I'd wanted to keep the violet. I could have done so. I could have had a painting that was predominantly yellow and violet, which were opposites on the colour wheel. Or I could have used a blue violet and a red violet opposite yellow, which would have been a split opposite colour harmony. I could have used a triadic colour harmony, although that one would have suited this painting least. Once you choose your key colour, the colour that you believe is most important to your painting, then it is easy to choose the colour harmony to work with that key colour. I chose yellow as my most important colour and from there I was able to work out which were my next most important colours and I was able to find the colour harmony that would allow those next most important colours, which then showed me which colours would work well with the painting and which colours to avoid using for a pleasing colour harmony. Don't worry if you haven't fully grasped colour harmony. If you subscribe and click the notification bell, you'll be notified of my next tutorial and I'll talk about colour harmony in a different way with each tutorial and that helps you grasp it by seeing it demonstrated and explained in various ways.